Hi everyone, it's Miss Jen. I'm gonna read a story about water on the map and then we're going to do a fun activity afterwards. So I'm gonna share my screen so we can read the book. We're going to read on water. Let's start at the beginning. So on water. Water covers most of Earth. It is in oceans. It is in lakes. It is in ponds. It is in swamps. It is in rivers. It is in streams. Water is all around us. So I know that was a quick story, but Grown-ups, I want you to, you to help, and I want you to type in Google Earth, and then we're going to click on this, and then we're going to launch Earth. So let's wait for it to load. Wait. I grab a sip of water. Okay. So we see that this is planet Earth. So okay, let's see. I'm gonna type in. Hmm. I am going to type in um let's type in the Hudson River. I'm gonna wait until everyone types it in. Then we're going to click on it. So Lake Ontario is, the Hudson River, I mean, is right here. It, the Hudson River is a 315 mile river that flows from north to south, primary, primarily through eastern New York in the United States. So it's, it runs from, like from north to south, um, let's see what this button does. It just zoomed us out a little bit more. Then let's, after this, let's type in Lake Erie. Lake Erie. Now wait until everyone types it in. Now we're going to click this. So Lake Erie is the fourth largest lake of the five Great Lakes in North America. And it's the 11th largest globally. Let's see what else it has to say. Oh, here's some pictures. Someone's kayaking in the in Lake Erie. That seems fun. Oh, sorry. You see like a bird, part of a bird. Oh, there's a ship. How cool. Okay, so let's let us look at another water. 
Be the ocean. Hmm. Let's think of a hmm. Let, oops, sorry. Oh. Let's type Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, let's see are they It brought us out more to show us how big the Atlantic Ocean is. Let's look at some pictures. Very nice. The Atlantic o Ocean is the second second largest of the world's oceans. It has a large area. It covers about 20% of Earth's surface and about 29% of its water's water surface area. It is known to separate the old world from the new world and the European percep perception of the world. Let's look at more pictures. That looks very nice, very warm. That also looks like it could be in a warm area. Also very warm. Look how nice and blue it is. And it has a lot of, it looks like this could possibly be a mountain maybe. A lot of, we see a lot of trees. Somebody scuba diving. That looks like it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to type in another, let's type in the Colorado River since we, it's in the United States and it's on the west coast of the United States. Let's look at some pictures. Somebody else is kayaking. So let's see what it says. The Colorado River is one of the principal rivers in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. The 1450 mile long river drains an expensive and watershed that encompasses parts of seven United States states and two Mexican states. It's a long river. Somebody is jet skiing and is a little boat. So the river could the river, the wind could have possibly made the landform over here like this. Okay, so if you wanna want to keep searching at the different rivers, lakes, and landforms around the United States or even around the world, you can continue typing it into the Google Earth. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to the story and story and being on Google Earth. I hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.